So uh, this model kit review is of the 172nd scale Bolton Paul Defiant, the Mark 1. It's a model by Airfix. And uh, here's some details about the plane, as well as the two different options uh, that you can make. No additional details there. So let's have a look inside. And we'll see what we have with our sprues. I've been quite impressed by uh, Airfix recently. Some of their older kits were not really that great, but they've been making some really good new molds. So here's our glass. The two different options there for the glass. And uh, there's our windshield, and then there's our gunner uh, glass there. Yeah, look at that wing. Some recessed panel lines. It's very clean, very nicely molded. And um, there's our air intake there. That's probably um, maybe for our cockpit, or the bulkhead. Looks like a gun. You know, maybe part of the, um, especially probably part of the cockpit there. And um, wheel well covers here. And there's our tail wheel, and probably part of our spinner. So here we have our two pilots. Well, I guess one's a pilot, one's a gunner. We've got uh, part of our um, landing gear there. There's the gunner's turret with our propeller and uh, gun. Uh, there's our uh, exhausts. And uh, probably uh, might be part of our uh, cockpit. There's our cockpit seat, spinner, and wheels. You can see they're bulging. Um, and then we've got our fuselage with some recessed panel lines and rivet lines. Very nicely molded. And this is a very clean molding. Got some detail here on the inside of our cockpit. Um, well, I actually like this model kit because, look, we have some uh, wheel wells there with some detail. That really is great. Um, there's our wheel well covers. We've got our um, elevator. Here's the other one, also recessed panel lines. There's a rudder. It's part of our cockpit. Just tremendous uh, quality here. The detail. And here are the tops of the wings. So that really is great. Okay, let's have a look here. We've got our uh, decals and uh, lots of detail here. So that's great. Okay. So there's some dimensions there, some details about the plane. So start off with uh, building the cockpit, putting our pilot in there. Got a lot of detail here for this cockpit. That's great. We start to put our uh, gunner, gunner's area in, more cockpit details. We put our fuselage halves together. Uh, wheel wells go on and wings are built. We mount our wings to the fuselage. And uh, I guess depending on which option you're making, you can put uh, the top of the fuselage on there. And you pulled our radiator. And put all that on the fuselage. Next we're going to put our rudder and um, elevator on there. And then wheel wheel covers if you're going to have it closed. And then landing gear if you're going to have it uh, landing gear down. Fair amount of detail there. And uh, wheel wheel covers going on the side. Next we're going to build our uh, gunner's turret there. Put our glass on. Put our propeller and spinner on. And then, uh, I guess depending on which version you're building, you'd uh, put on different exhausts. Uh, looks like we've got. Uh, not 
sure what these things are for. Something at the back to make it look like it's uh, up. And then, uh, let's see here, we've got our glass going on there. And those are different options depending on the version that you're building. So, uh, this is the 264 Squadron. Those are the colors needed. The side. And um, that's the underside. And the other side. Here it is for the um, 151 Squadron. This is a night plane. So, here is the common stencil data details. As you can see, lots and lots of little details going on there. So that is great. Good quality molding. I love having the separate wheel wells molded, some extra cockpit details, and the decals.